see everybody and welcome to the weekly scope 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 from the 20th of august right up into the 26th so on the 20th of august the moon enters its crescent moon phase so the moon symbolizes our emotions our subconscious and our intuition so when the moon is in the crescent phase it is a time of new beginnings and first starts setting your attentions focusing on your goals and if you want to know more about the positives and the negatives of the crescent moon then check out the playlist or the link and also today the moon enters void of course when the moon enters void of course it means it's not making any major aspects such as square conjunction or set style to any of the other planets or the sun and some astrologers say it's best to put some things off at this time today it enters void of course at 908 also today there are three transits so first we've got so yeah today's transits are mars queen quartz the moon's north node venus making the square to jupiter and the sun is making the queen quartz to pluto as well mars is exact conjunction with the moon's north node is going to be tomorrow the 21st so this conjunction can bring about a sense of unease discomfort as these two energies um, and these two needs within ourselves we may find it hard to find common ground between the different needs of mars and the moon's north node at this time but on the positive as always it can lead to a period of continued growth or you starting growth and evolution it wants you to step outside of your comfort zone and supports that and confront any obstacles that are stopping your progress right now this north node wants us to be authentic in our actions and mars sometimes a negative can just make us want our own way and follow our ego so we need to find the balance between you know those being authentic and thinking before we act and being impulsive and just going for it even with the chaos this is a perfect time for groups dealing with conflict or experiencing it firsthand to um you know resolve conflicts between them so it's essential today to do your best to maintain your cool and stay calm when you're under pressure. Also, Venus's square with Jupiter can add the touch of boisterousness to your social calendar. Um, it allows you to let loose and enjoy the company of others and your own company. Um, it may heighten your desire to indulge in sensory pleasures as well. So it's indulging in nice food, nice drink, um, you know, anything else like dancing, being intimate, being more tactile, wanting to touch and be touched, just make sure consent is always there and you stick within people's boundaries and you assert your own personal space if need be. Um, the square between Venus and Jupiter can want us just to see pleasant more and we may overspend, so we need to just watch out for that. So remember, too much of a good thing can lead to physical discomfort, financial instability and insincerity in relationships, so just watch out for that. From the 20th to the 22nd with the peak also on the 21st, which is tomorrow, the sun's making the queen quartz to Pluto, so this can bring power struggles to the forefront over the next few days. But well, the best use of this is to confront any fears um, on underlying issues that have been holding you back and um, you know watch out because people can get easily hurt by um, words and actions right now as well on the negative end people can be manipulative and this can lead to problems in you know relationships or group dynamics so you know kind of um messing with the venus square jupiter that can make us you know want to socialize and for it to be your pleasure but also just watch out for that because pluto can bring the earth to dominate and you know this can cause conflicts because you know people don't react well to having their personal wishes challenged as well also a good use of this energy is to use it for self-exploration and personal growth and ultimately you know these transits of today challenge us to confront and overcome any obstacles to reach our full potential as well as watch over doing anything as well on the 21st of august the moon enters libra 
so you know how this affects you depends on your natal chart as well but this in general can make us more social so adding to the energies i was talking about yesterday that makes us more social and diplomatic as well so it, it's good for reducing and um, conflict as well so it's, it's a good time for networking and building relationships or repairing <laughs> any trouble in relationships people may be more in tune with beauty and sense of art and just being more open to exploring new things as well which may be out of their comfort zone on the downside the moon in Libra can make us indecisive and fear conflict if you want to know more about what to do and what not to do during the moon in Libra check out the audio in the link or the playlist also today Mars is making opposition to Neptune so this can increase our imagination and creativity on the positive side as it can spark inspiration encouraging us to think outside the box on the downside we may experience you know fluctuating energy levels where we may find ourselves feeling washed out or physically depleted at times the urge to escape reality can also be strong leading to a lack of motivation or effort in pursuing our goals so it's important to stay focused and motivated in pursuing our plans and while reality may seem strong and discouraging at times remember that success often requires perseverance and determination over a long period of time for the majority of human beings and this is not to full say that people will get things more easily we all have our you know great lifetimes where we get things falling into our laps or our trying lifetimes if we're going to use astrological talk and we all get our square and opposition um, lifetimes where we have to just work a bit more harder for things so yeah take small steps towards your objectives even if they initially seem significant today you know because it often it's the small things the small daily habits that create our destiny so take time out also to celebrate every little accomplishment along the way to maintain your motivation as well people may also battle with weak will or character over the next few days be mindful not to be influenced and easily manipulated by others during this time and don't do the same to others take advantage of them there's a risk of becoming a pushover allowing others to take advantage of your kindness and generosity so yeah be compassionate and pathetic but just make sure you know you're doing it to the right people and you know you're not being taken for four all right yeah there's also a danger of falling ill they're being prone to infections during this transit so it's beneficial to take precautions um, for your health and well-being but you know taking proactive measures to strengthen your immune system and avoid situations that can put you at risk of infection this includes practicing food hygiene getting enough rest and eating a balanced diet as well also be cautious uh, when working around inflammable um, or toxic substances or any dangerous conditions as well because there's an increased risk of accidents if you're being mindless or just being you know aggressive or absent minded and not paying attention so um, overall the best use of this energy of Mars opposing Neptune is to use it to you know be imaginative and creative by embracing your more artistic creative side and exploring new forms of you know self-expression this allows you to you know maybe find solutions to problems and you never thought of before um, it's a good also to brainstorm innovative ideas and solutions to any challenges you may be facing be mindful of your energy levels and take breaks when needed to avoid burnout stay grounded in reality while still allowing yourself to dream and explore new possibilities all in all in relationships set boundaries and prioritize your own needs before accommodating others as you navigate this period be aware of your willpower and character avoid being easily swayed or manipulated by others who may not have your best interests at heart right now stand firm in your beliefs and values trusting your intuition to guide you on the right path this transit also encourages self-reflection take time to delve into your emotions and desires understanding what truly brings you joy and fulfillment so just you know explore what really makes you happy and are you doing it enough and how can you make more time for you to do the things that make you happy use this self-awareness to make necessary changes that will lead you 
to live in a more authentic um, life. In terms of career finances, this transit presents opportunities for growth and expansion. Keep an open mind to new possibilities and be willing to take calculated risks. Also consider developing new skills or pursuing um, additional education that can, you know, enhance your professional opportunities. Also today, at 5.22, the Moon's North Nerd goes stationary direct. To know more about this, check out the playlist. On the 22nd of August, nothing to report there. On the 23rd of August, the Moon enters void of course at 6.04. All times are in GMT times, remember. And remember, this is based on constellation or Vedic astrology. Also today, Mercury goes into retrograde. Now, I've done a fuller analysis of this, but this is just a short version. Um, so when Mercury goes retrograde in Leo, it can bring opportunities for creative thinking and self-expression as Leo is a sign associated with creativity and passion. It's also a good time to re-evaluate our relationships and communication patterns allowing for better understanding and clearer communication in the future. On the negative side, Mercury retrograde can bring disruptions and delays in travel, communication and technology. It's important to double check all important documents and communications during this time and be prepared for unexpected changes. The best use of this energy is to focus on self-reflection. Use this time to review past communication patterns and relationships and consider how to improve them in the future or if you need to let go of certain relationships or certain you know, communication tendencies of yours as well. It's also a good time to revisit creative projects or hobbies that you've been putting on hold. Be flexible and adaptable during this time as unexpected changes can happen. Things can go wrong with communications and technologies maybe delays in transport and stuff like that as well so ideally you know it's ideal for you to embrace the opportunities for reflection and adaptation and getting out of your comfort zones and just make the most of this period so yeah <laughs> that's uh, mercury retrograde also today the moon goes into scorpio and um, which also supports this deeper introspection and you know deeper connections in relationships and stuff like that as well but also can bring power struggles and add to the drama of leo as people want to get their own way so just watch out for that so if you want to know more about the moon in scorpio check out the playlist also today there's a trine between mars and pluto which is strongest on the 25th of August. So on the positive side, this transit encourages us to be daring and take bold steps towards making radical changes in our lives. It empowers us with the ability to push through reforms and transform stagnant situations. It's an ideal time to tackle challenging projects or address long-standing issues that require courage and determination. So this can be conflicts in relationships, conversations you've been putting off having, you know, like, um, you know we all do but also on the downside we can overdo things and push ourselves to the point of exhaustion and others as well as we want them to maybe give us answers to questions we're asking and they can't right now so just try yeah try and resolve things it's best to have you know attention out than in but also you know take some time out to a relaxation actively listen and respect other people's boundaries as well it's also crucial to strike a balance between ambition and self-care during this time to make the best of this energy of Mars's time with um, Pluto focus on projects or your goals that align with your values and also tap into your inner strength and assertiveness while practicing self-awareness and avoid unnecessary Necessary risks as well. Remember, even though the energy during this transit may be intense, it is essential to stay grounded and not let yourself get carried away. Take breaks when needed and listen to your body's signs of exhaustion. And this can help you make positive and significant progress towards your personal growth and transformation by channeling this potent energy wisely and maintaining a healthy balance trust in your abilities but also trust in the process of change right now as well this would do you the most good on the 24th of august the moon's north node goes stationary retrograde and this happens quite a few times a month there's a separate audio on that we may just turn more inward and things may just get more intense with our um, 
emissions over the three to four days the moon's north node is retrograde. The moon also enters its first quarter moon phase, which happens about one week after the new moon, and um, it's an ideal time to make progress towards achieving your goals as it gives us more energy and motivation and inspiration to do that. And you know, it can help us overcome obstacles and challenges that may be holding us back. But we also have to watch out for impulsive actions and decisions because it's got a whole, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy vibe, the first quarter moon to it. Also today, uh, Mars makes a semi-square to Venus, so on the positive side, this transit can ignite our passion and intensity in our relationships. It can create a sense of excitement and make us more spontaneous, making it a good time for passionate encounters or taking bold romantic initiative. The energy of this transit can make us more creative, leading to inspired words. For some of you, you may create your masterpiece right now, continue that masterpiece, or just get, you know, innovative solutions to any problems you're going through. It doesn't have to be, you know, you creating a grand novel or musical masterpiece or design work or anything like that so yeah on the downside though emotions can run high and become unpredictable leading to intense conflicts or heated arguments people can come in too strongly in intimate relationships which may result in relationship difficulties or even infidelity cheating or separations also, Venus's semi-square in Mars can bring about another war-like activity, so some of us just may wind others up just because we want to. Violent acts can be um, possible due to heated emotions, so it's best to exercise caution and avoid engaging in confrontations or impulsive actions, you know, walk away, you know, if things get too touchy, yeah, confront things, but, you know, if you're going to cross other people's boundaries and have yourself possibly facing consequences like... Uh, legal charge or anything like that you know it's just best to walk away calm down and then take up the conversation when you're in a better sort of like space or you know if someone is getting aggressive with you you know walk away get out of there as quick as you can um, the best use of this energy is to channel it into productive and positive outlets engaging in physical activities such as sports or exercise can help you release any pent up aggression and provide a healthy outlet for you know heightened emotions whether it be writing, painting or any other form of artistic expression, as I said before, allow the passion and intensity to flow into your work um, and create something truly unique and impactful. Now, like I said, this can just be recording your voice, writing a blog post, playing a game, you know, just something that just takes you out of yourself and just makes you happy. It doesn't have to be some grand sort of creative masterpiece. It's also essential to approach relationships with mindfulness during this time. While the intensity can bring excitement, it's crucial to communicate open and honestly with your partner to avoid misunderstandings or hurt feelings. Take the time to listen to their needs and express your own in a respectful manner. Remember, compromise and understanding are key in maintaining a healthy and harmonious relationship. During this transit, embracing self-care practices and prioritising your emotional well-being is necessary. Engaging in activities that bring you joy and peace of mind can help balance the intense energy surrounding you, whether it's indulging in a relaxing bath, practising meditation or spending time in nature. Find what rejuvenates your soul and make it a priority. Ultimately, this astrological transit offers a unique personal growth and transformation opportunity by using this energy and channeling it into positive outlets. You can not only navigate this period with grace and wisdom, but also emerge stronger and more self-aware. Remember, emotions are a powerful force that drives us towards great achievements and at times regrettable actions. But by exercising caution and being mindful of your own you know, feelings, emotions, you can ensure that this transit becomes a catalyst for positive change in your life rather than a destructive force. On the 25th of August, the moon leaves via combustion, um, which is the fiery way, which is between the 15th 
degree of Libra and 15th degree of Scorpio. If you want to know more about that, I've done a separate audio. But during that time when it's in biocombustion, things it adds the intensity to you know the whole atmosphere and you know to our days and can make us more fiery. But on the positive time, it allows for deep healing of our emotions. On the 26th of August, the moon enters Sagittarius, so it can make us more optimistic and seek out a sense of adventure more. Also, you know, we may want to just, um, you know, as I said, expand and try new things and be receptive to new experiences, but on the downside, it can make us more impulsive and reckless, and this can lead to risky behaviour and poor decision making as well. Overall, the best use of the moon in Sagittarius is embracing the spirit of exploration and adventure while also being mindful of your choices and responsibilities right now. As well, if you want to know more about the moon in Sagittarius, check out the playlist. Also today, we've got the sun making an opposition to Saturn and Mars making a sesta quadrature to Jupiter as well, which both lasts up until the 28th of August, but are going to be strongest on the 27th and the 26th of August. So the Sun opposing Saturn on one hand can lead to conflicts with authority figures or instances of you know people abusing their power. It can also result in delays, frustrations and difficulties in gaining access to influential individuals. So if you've got important paperwork or you want to get in touch with government officials or local you know departments and stuff like that, it may be hard right now. It's important to know that success during this period is due possible through patience and perseverance and by following the proper channels rather than taking shortcuts so you may just have to you know hang on there on the line listening to the automated messages if you're trying to ring through government departments or any other you know big organization and you may be on hold for a long time but just keep on going you know through the obstacles but just keep on going through the obstacles so the challenges that you know you face today may lead you to destructive behavior so it's crucial to exercise caution and just be mindful of your actions you know don't act out of even though you may be frustrated and all that like i said earlier um you know don't let your behavior lead you to legal consequences because you're just feeling a bit you know frustrated right now just try and chill out and just give yourself time and try and be as patient as you can even though you know it can be kind of um, deflating and just time consuming and stuff also Mars's sister quadrant to Jupiter may feel more motivated and driven to achieve success in your goals. This transit also ignites your competitive spirit, pushing you to outdo yourself and pass your own expectations. So this shows that you know you can get to where you want to get to today if you just have that patience. You know, you can your negative thinking may say no you can't do it or you're wasting your time but this you know energy is showing you just wait and you can you know go past what you feel you can achieve today. Negatively it does add to the you know conflicts I was talking about earlier this can be because of people you know arguing as we do because we're getting more and more decisive day and day thinking our ways better than others and all the rest of it so there can be arguments over different outlooks in life or beliefs in life as well also this is another reminder that some of you may find yourself in legal disputes and um, you know or even just conflicts in your business related um, you know matters or in your other intimate relationships so just watch out for that as well because this means it's doubly potent that some kind of you know craziness may just erupt out of nowhere people's actions and reactions may be exaggerated so just be as careful as you can to avoid overreactions and walk away and try and stay rational and find common ground where possible. Despite the potential challenges of today, Mars is set to conduct Jupiter gives us the opportunity for expansion and remaining calm, giving us that boost of energy and confidence that can push us towards achieving our goals. It's a good energy to use to embrace challenges and push 
ourselves beyond our comfort zone. With Mars's vigorous influence, we can find ourselves taking the lead in projects. Uh, we may become more assertive and determined, and this will help us overcome obstacles and make significant changes. So it's important to balance any, you know, your ambitions today or you know your will today. You know the things you want to achieve with being mindful um, in your decision making. Avoid rushing into situations without considering the consequences. Doubly important, and it's also beneficial to surround yourself with supportive people who share your passion and drive. As this encouragement and guidance can provide a valuable perspective and help you navigate um, any conflicts that come up. You know, just take the time to also continue to work on your self improvement. Taking time out to assess your strengths and weaknesses, identifying areas where you can increase your skills and knowledge by investing in yourself you can be better equipped to handle challenges that come your way every single day you know and um, so when these transits are acting crazy you won't react remember also to prioritize your self-care at this time and maintain that work-life balance and take breaks when needed burning out or neglecting your well-being can stop your progress and diminish and um, the positive impact of mars's sister quadrant to jupiter as well so today as you navigate both these transits um, remember to approach them calmly and rationally instead of reacting impulsively taking a step back and consider different perspective finding common ground where possible will help you create understanding and resolution to any issues that come up so yeah that was the weekly scope 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 from the 20th to the 26th of august